Hi everyone, this is Miss Madeline, and today I'm going to show you how to make a rain gauge so you can track the precipitation at your own house. The materials you'll need to make your rain gauge are some gravel or rocks, a ruler, an empty plastic bottle, tape, scissors or a box cutter, and a Sharpie. To make the rain gauge, we are going to cut the top off of this bottle, write some measurements along the side, and fill the bottom with gravel. That way, when it sits outside near your house, as the rain falls, it will fill up this bottle and you can read through the measurements on the side how much rain has fallen in the last day, week, however you want to measure it. It's best if you can find a plastic bottle that has a straight side. Mine is a little bit curved. It will still work, but it'll be a little bit more accurate if you have the straight sides. Cutting off the top of the bottle can be the trickiest part. So this is a good time to ask for a grown up to help if you want. Next, I'm going to put this top part back inside the bottle, but flipped over so it's upside down. And this isn't gonna wanna stay very well like this, so this is where the tape comes in. My next step is to write my measurements along the side. And rather than starting at zero right at the bottom of the bottle, I'm going to start above this bottom part where there's these sort of lumps at the bottom of the bottle. I want it to start on a nice flat line of water. So I'm going to make my first measurement line here and then go all the way up. Here in the US, we measure rainfall in inches. So if it's a particularly rainy day, we might get an inch of rain. If it's a really rainy week, I could leave out my rain gauge the whole week and it could fill up all the way to four inches. But mostly we're gonna be looking at smaller measurements if we're doing it on a daily basis. Next, I'm going to fill the bottom of this rain gauge with gravel. And this will do two things. This will help weigh down the bottom of the rain gauge so it doesn't easily knock down or blow away in the wind. And it will help us calibrate our rain gauge, which means bring up the beginning level to zero. So the rocks will take up some space in the bottom so that when it starts to rain, it will begin measuring here instead of down here at the bottom. Now that I have gravel up to this beginning little line in my rain gauge, I'm going to pour just a little bit of water in so that the water level starts here so that when it rains, it will start to measure the rain from here. There we go. Now my rain gauge is calibrated so it will measure correctly outside. I invite you to make your own rain gauge at home. It's a great way to observe the weather and measure how much precipitation is falling at your own house. I recommend putting it out at the beginning of the week and then measuring at the end of the week how many inches of rainfall you've had. You could keep that information in a journal, write it down somewhere, and compare week to week throughout the winter how much rainfall we're getting. Have fun! Thanks everybody!